Hey, Ken Crawford here from Reno Guns and Range. Uh, coming to you this month with our, our monthly tip, which is how to set up your range bag for success. Everything in here you're gonna see is just pre-packaged. Uh, I walked around the store earlier and just grabbed some certain items off the shelf. Uh, in no way, shape, or form is this gonna be a, a product talk. We're just really putting out information for how you can make the most out of your range time. Primarily, this bag is set up for indoor use as we are the premier indoor facility for Northern Nevada. You can also set this up for outdoor as well. One of the first tips that I talk about here is if you notice the range bag, and I'm just going to kind of tilt this up so you can see it, is all of my zippers are going this way. And the reason that I do that is I use that for the zippers helping me remember which way the gun is positioned in the bag, in this case the pistol. Uh, a lot of ranges uh, will kind of get uh, maybe a bit upset if you take the gun out of the bag and the muzzle's pointed uprange instead of downrange. So this is one of those things that I put out there that can just help a new shooter get off to a great start no matter where they're going. So if I unzip this back, the first thing we're going to take out is a gun rug. And in this gun rug you'll notice that it's a square so I don't really know which way, you know, the muzzle would be pointing, but I've got the zippers on this side. So when I take this out, you can see that I know that my muzzle is pointed that way. And if that was my, my downrange, that's the way I'd want it to go. Another item that you'll see in here is some ranges require uh, a chamber indicator or an empty chamber indicator flag, which is what this little device is right here. What's that showing is that if we look in here, is that there's nothing inside of the pistol. We don't require that here at Reno Guns and Range. Uh, we simply ask that the guns are either cased or holstered when you bring them in. But again, we wanted to put out information for you guys to know all the different facilities that you go to. This would be one that's very generic and work out for you anywhere you go. So you can just slide this in here, release the slide forward, set the gun back down, and when we close the, the gun rug here, we're just going to have our zippers going towards the forward. You'll notice over here too on the side, uh, there's some magazines. One of the things that I highly recommend is preloading the magazines with your bullets. That's so that you can focus your time out on the range on shooting and not spending a lot of time and being frustrated and potentially cutting the fingers on some of these with pushing down, loading these magazines. Your focus should be either just having fun or working on our skill development. One of the other items that you'll see in here and that we have on the range, this is called an Uplula. This is a little speed loader and we really like these here. What this does is this just slides over the top, you squeeze it down, push the bullet in, let go, and it would be a rinse and repeat. So with all of these preloaded, we can spend a lot more time shooting and less time just thumbing our rounds in. And again, we just set those up into here. We put our gun in here and make sure that our zippers are down range. So let's kind of pull out of our bag and see what we've got in here. So we have a pair of Dark shooting glasses, again, like I said, if we were shooting outdoors and it was sunny, this is something we'd want in our bag. If we're shooting indoors, we'd most likely probably want clear glasses, so I recommend having two different tinted lenses in there for your safety glasses. Along with that, if we're shooting indoors, I do recommend a very good over the ear, uh, probably a 30 NRR. What NRR means is the decibel reduction rating. And this is what we do recommend uh, at our facility. If you do come in here, you'll see uh, in our ear protection and eye protection aisle where it says range recommended, and that's what we have in here. I also highly recommend in the ear, ear protection. Uh, when used correctly, uh, these are probably going to give you the best noise reduction out. This is what most often you'll see me wearing if I'm teaching a class or if I'm outdoors. And indoors, a lot of times I'll use these plus the over the ear to make sure that I'm keeping my hearing safe. So these are just going to kind of slide back in. If you notice that I'm sliding, the, these are not in the case. I'm putting them in, a, in 
glass up so that I don't scratch them. In the middle is just this that we have on our range. This is the Uplula. And then I have plenty of room in here. I'm just gonna kind of pull out, you know, there's 50, 100, 150. So 200 rounds of ammunition fit really easy in that nice little compact bag, as long as it's organized. That's the key with anything else in life is we want to make sure that our bag stays organized and stays clean and then we're not fumbling around and looking for gear. Uh, it's real often in here that we get people coming in and asking, hey, did I leave my magazine behind? Did I leave my mag loader behind? Did I leave my, my safety glasses behind? And then we'll get a call a day or two later saying, never mind, I found it in that range bag. If you keep everything in its own little compartment, then you're not really searching and wondering, oh, did I, did I lose my $40 magazine? Hope that makes sense to you there. So, zippers forward. In the back here, I really like these D-LED wipes. These are waterless. Uh, obviously, uh, when we're shooting, uh, we are putting ourselves uh, or being exposed to lead, and these are a real good product for when there's not soap and water in round, or even if there is soap and water in round, these are designed to break down and remove the heavy metals from your skin. And then I keep a little microfiber cloth uh, as well to wipe off any residue. That's on the side of the bag. You could also, if you're going outdoor range, you could have like your, your stapler over here. On this side of the bag is where I keep a real small kit for gun cleaning not so much that we're worried about cleaning our gun at the range right after we're shooting but sometimes something might get lodged in the barrel and we need a cleaning rod to dislodge that sometimes the gun gets a bit dirty especially if we're going to be at the range for a really long time and real fine placement of lubricant will help with that this is a boar snake I do recommend when you're done shooting at the day at the range is to go ahead and run this through. This comes out and you run that through your barrel and it takes away a lot of the, uh, the carbon fouling while the gun's still warm. The silicon cloth you can just wipe your gun down with afterwards. Like I said, this isn't really meant to be uh, an in-depth product review. Uh, anyone's more than welcome to ask questions or come into the store and we'll take them through uh, what we have here. A lot of people have their own favorite uh, gun lube or gun scrubber. And obviously, if this wasn't all in the packaging, it would fit even easier in the bag. Just kind of highlighting you know, how you can efficiently store a lot of stuff. This side over here, I don't even have anything in this bag. But it comes with a little bag in here that if you wanted to keep your spent brass casings, if you were somewhere where you could do that, or outdoors, or a lot of people will put their safety glasses and collapsible earmuffs in this bag. There's room over here for pens, pencils, timer, uh, and some extra staples if you were looking for something like that. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, the best tip I can put to people is that zippers forward it means that your muzzle's forward of everyone else, right? So muzzle's downrange. Uh, a lot of people aren't aware that that's why the, the, the bag will zip like this, and the same with the square gun rugs. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section, or you can go ahead and email range at renoguns.com. Uh, go to our website, www.renoguns.com, and ask any of those kind of questions. Again, uh, just trying to help you guys monthly with tips, tricks, and little things that can help your shooting to be more efficient and more fun. Thanks.